You know how little details can make a website look super polished? Well, today, we're spicing up plain text with a smooth hover effect. Imagine a cool underline sliding in when you hover over a link. Subtle, but classy. Let's create it together, and trust me, it's easier than you think. Before we jump in, a quick shout out to my amazing supporters on Patreon. You guys are the reason I can keep creating content like this, and I truly appreciate your support. If you'd like to join our Patreon community and get exclusive coding projects, check out the link in the description. Let's start with the HTML structure. Here's what we have in the body tag. We're using a div tag with the class called underlineffect to style the text. This will be the element where the magic happens. The text says, hover me, but of course, you can customize it with whatever message fits your project. That's it for HTML. Clean, simple, and easy. All right, let's dive deep into the CSS part of this hover effect. I'll break it down completely, explaining every element so there's no confusion. First, let's start with the styling for the body tag. Here, we use the font family is set to Agile with a fallback to sans serif, ensuring our text looks clean and modern. Then, we use display, flex to activate flexbox, which makes centering content simple. With justify content, center, and align items, center. The text is perfectly aligned in the middle of the screen, both horizontally and vertically. The min height, 100 VH, ensures that the body takes up the full height of the viewport, no matter the device. We set the margin to zero to eliminate any default spacing. And the background color is a dark grayish blue, which creates a nice contrast with our text. Next, we move to the underline effect class. This is where the styling for the text itself happens. Here, position. Relative is crucial because it allows us to position the after pseudo element relative to this text. We set display inline block to ensure that the text behaves like a block element, making it easier to style. The font size is set to 70 pixel, making the text large and attention grabbing. Then, we apply a light neon blue color to make the text pop against the dark background. We remove the default underline with text decoration, none, and use cursor, pointer, to give it a clickable feel. Finally, the font weight. Bold ensures the text looks strong and impactful. Now, let's talk about the real magic. I mean the after pseudo element, which creates the underline effect. The content with double single quotation marks is required for pseudo elements and creates an empty block that we can style. By setting position absolute, we can precisely position this element relative to the underline effect class text, which is why we previously set position to relative. The left zero aligns the pseudo element with the left edge of the text and bottom, minus 10 pixel, will positions it 10 pixels below the text. The width is initially set to zero, so the underline starts invisible. The height of five pixels makes it a bold, noticeable line. We set the color to a bright yellow, which contrasts beautifully with the blue text, Finally, the transition. With 0.3 seconds easing out, will add smooth animation, making the underline grow gracefully. Lastly, we define the hover effect. When the user hovers over the text, the width of the pseudo element changes to 100%, making the underline stretch across the entire width of the text. 
Because we set up a transition earlier, this change happens smoothly, creating that satisfying animated effect. And that's it. With just these styles, we've created a modern interactive text effect that's simple but visually impactful. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coders. Subscribe to Code Instinct for more awesome tutorials and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. If you're feeling extra generous, check out our Patreon for exclusive coding content. Until next time, happy coding and keep building cool stuff. Bye.